There are reports Iranian forces are using bullets and tear gas on anti-government protesters in Iran this morning. Those demonstrations are starting their fourth week. Activists say at least 185 protesters have been killed by Iranian authorities. Many of the victims are young adults and children. Roxana Saberi reports. 16-year-old Nika Shahkarani was full of life when she disappeared after joining the protests in Iran. Days later, her mom was in mourning. Authorities claim Nika fell to her death from a tall building. But her mom says that's a lie. She was killed by blows to her head. Since the nationwide demonstrations began in mid-September, several other young protesters have lost their lives. Like 16-year-old Sarina Ismail Zadeh, 22-year-old Hadis Najafi, and 22-year-old Masa Amini, whose death in police custody sparked the unrest. Verification Human Rights Watch researcher Tara Saparifar has documented the deaths of dozens of protesters of all ages. What are the main tactics that the Iranian authorities are using against protesters? A lot of reports of use of tear gas, use of batons, security forces, use of um, shotguns, assault weapons. The brutal measures have scared many Iranians into staying home. <laughs> Even if you honk your horn in support of the protests, they identify you, this woman said, afraid to go on camera. But she added young people seem fearless. This week, schoolgirls chanted death to the dictator told a member of the Basij militia to get lost and spray-painted women, life, freedom on the walls. Fed up and angry with the ruling regime, many feel they have nothing to lose. For CBS Saturday Morning, Roxana Saberi, London.